for our first business spotlight speaker, please join me in welcoming Mr. Damien Laracy, the head of office of uh, Hugh Dickinson Hong Kong, who is also a HKANY board of director all the way from Hong Kong. Damien is going to share with us like uh, what they do in Hong Kong as a law firm in related to, like, Hong, uh, to the US. Without further delay, may I please invite Damien, please. Good morning, Damien, are you online? Y yes, I am. And uh, good evening, hey. Michelle. Yeah. Thank you um, so much for joining us this early. Have you had your coffee yet? <laughs> I, I have had I've had two coffees. It's uh, seven thirty in the morning on April Fool's Day here, so it would be very unwise not to have at least two coffees. Yeah, I I, I can feel that. <laughs> so the floor is yours. How about like uh, tell, tell us something about your company, about yourself, about like uh, your industries as well. So, certainly. So first of all, I'd just like to um, to say good evening, everybody, and it's a, it's a pleasure to be participating in this event um, on behalf of myself and Hill Dickinson. Um, thank you, Michelle and Yanni, for, for putting this mixer together. Um, as Michelle said, I'm dialing in from Hong Kong, um, where I manage the Hong Kong office of an English law firm by the name of Hill Dickinson. Um, I'll, I'll say a little bit about Hill Dickinson, but before I do that, perhaps I should introduce myself a little as well. Um, so, as Michelle said, my name is Damien Laracy. Um, I'm originally from Auckland in New Zealand, where, of course, they're coming to the end of a long, hot summer, where New Zealand has retained the America's Cup, and that, that is where I would be now if I, if I wasn't in Hong Kong. Um, I, I studied law in Auckland, and I moved to Hong Kong in 1995, so I've now been here for 26 years. My personal practice on a day-to-day -day basis involves commercial litigation and arbitration, uh, and I also sit as an arbitrator. Um, in the Hong Kong office, I have colleagues doing insolvency and regulatory work, corporate and M&A work, and, and at the moment that is including giving advice to listed companies in the US, thinking about repatriating back to Hong Kong, or at least deleveraging investments in the US, unfortunately. Um, we do, obviously, capital markets and IPO uh, fundraising work in Hong Kong. And we have a vibrant construction practice, which is increasingly engaged in infrastructure and project work concerning the, the Greater Bay Area. Um, we, in the office here, we have mainland qualified lawyers, and we also have a Korean qualified lawyer. So I think we can credibly say within Hong Kong, we have one of the more diverse um, skill sets in terms of people qualified both regionally and, and globally. So in addition to those uh, individuals, we have lawyers qualified in Australia, New Zealand, New York, uh, and of course in, in the UK. Um, turning to the larger Hill Dickinson office outside of Hong Kong, we have offices in the UK, in Europe and in Singapore. Uh, the firm started trading in Liverpool in 1810 and is one of the longest, if not the longest, continuously trading English law firms um, in existence. Um, we're committed to growing the business globally as a full service law firm. Um, and so one of the things I'm doing in Hong Kong at the moment is, is hiring. We are, we are, we're an individual and unique practice in Hong Kong in that sense, because we are one of the few firms that is actually expanding at the moment. A lot of firms are downsizing. But Hill Dickinson only opened up in Hong Kong in 2015. So we, we have the luxury of perhaps of some fortunate timing in the sense that we're still able to expand rather than looking to, to pair back headcount. Um, we're also committed to diversity and to a transparent and fair workplace culture. We were one of the first English law firms to appoint a female partner back in 1927. Um, work I'm currently doing with um, lawyers or clients in the United States, as I say, involves uh, advice around repositioning assets and deleveraging de listings in the US, perhaps back to Hong Kong. Um, we're also engaged heavily with some product liability litigation involving defective um, personal protective equipment manufactured in China and exported to the States. Um, so that, that's, that's myself and that's Hill Dickinson in a um, in, in summary form, thank you very much um, and uh, best wishes for the rest of this event and of course for Easter. Thank you again, Michelle and Yanni. Thank you so much, Damien. Thank you for joining us this early. 
No problem. And for those of you that are, that have, are missing Hong Kong, you've got a view of mid-levels behind me there with uh, Mount Victoria <laughs> off, my, off to my left-hand side behind me. Yeah, I guess everyone is missing Hong Kong.